Alright, so I figured I'd show you guys this since everyone keeps asking me, well, what's so great about a safe clutch? Well, I'm going to show you. So these two shafts were in the Minarelli builds a while back, and I used the big green spring in one of them, and then the regular stock spring tightened up in the other one. I think this was the stock spring one originally. So what happens is, is all that mass that's on here and the forces and everything it uses to push stuff back and forth, over time, because of the RPM and such that it runs at, will tend to do this to a shaft. As you can see, it's actually twisting the shaft so, let me show you a uh, normal one next to this one. And just to be clear, if you see how this is filed, what happens is, is the pin will eat in, if you see that, over time. And I did that to knock the big burr that it formed off <laughs> when I was rebuilding it. But as soon as it would twist, which all of them did, with all the uh, bigger spring added, I would replace it. So that's why I have these. All right, let me show you side by side. All right, so to be fair too, here's the green one. Here's the brown one that most people rant and rave how wonderful they are. Um, the stock spring is 250 pounds. Uh, the green one is 400. The brown one... I believe is 650 and then there's a blue one which is hilarious because it's actually a hundred pound and then let's see there's a red one as well which is a hundred and fifty so anyways hope that gives some insight to these but the other two are completely stupid to use when the stock spring is actually more than the other two so these are the two that make sense that people use a little stiffer but all right so as you can see this is a normal one and this is one that started to twist so just wanted you to see what it looked like you know side by side so this was the big green spring one that I had in the Minarelli. And you can see that pin really ate into it over time. But you always hear people say, oh, the uh, shaft cracked or broke off. Or... Anyways, this is usually what happens when you use that single big spring. You'll get this happen where it fractures. And it actually did on this side as well. And what it does is it just finally, all that mass that's here, that big heavy spring and everything. Because, I mean, let's face it, these are designed for a little tiny engine, you know. When you put something bigger on there with a lot of RPM and more force, and it's just not designed for it. So the stuff breaks, you know. But, yeah, they fracture and... Uh, that's par for the course there, but that is one big advantage over the super clutch. Um, it eliminates all this crap. <clears throat> and it's not spinning and banging around on the shaft. And they seem to not twist and fracture and all that good stuff like these did. So, I mean, all that mechanical stuff's out here on the pins of the clutch that you're using versus inside the little cutout that they do a horrible job at to begin with so and by getting that stuff out of the middle of this thing it just seems like the weight and everything from it spinning doesn't do this so that's the one big advantage the other thing too is when you use the big spring in here and you load it up it is a beast to pull the clutch in and out with your hand okay and um i mean i don't know i i like the three springs because it evenly distributes the force provided the plates cut pretty well 
I mean, that's basically the biggest thing, is usually those plates are formed really bad. You see one with two flat edges, that's usually when they rolled. If you see one that's perfectly around stamped, that's usually when they, they stamped. So, they do do two different processes, and the rolled ones wobble. And you'll hear people say that. But, um, anyways. Just to explain that problem a lot of people are having. This was one I used originally on one of the uh, safe clutch belts. Yeah, I had the screws, ground them off. Um, as you see, let's see, there we go. Do you see how this is deformed, like, uh, what they do is they put this disc in and they roll it around, and they start at one point, and get to the other, and wherever they stop, so, that's usually what the defects are. It's not stamped straight down like other ones. So, I also found that the center of these is usually larger on the rolled ones than the stamped ones. So, and they tend to uh, bevel this edge on them. And then the stamped ones are usually just punched straight through. So, just something to note. Because this actually really sucks, even on a standard clutch, because it's not perfectly flat. So, the stamped one is definitely the way to go. Alright, so this is a ridiculous representation of one compared to what you'll deal with, but it's going to show the point I want to hear. The pin will go straight through the shaft and push on that plate and there's a nut that goes inside, lock it all together and it'll push these springs in and out a little bit to release and grab. Okay. So, every time I had the spring kits, like I said, I had this issue where the pin will just destroy these things in the spring. I guess it's the mass or something. But they always kept cracking all the time with it. And you hear people talk about it, but they never show one. That's what they're talking about. And then this one I actually had on a build that had the spring starting. And it was perfectly straight at the time. I started eating into it a little and stuff. And this was the first safe clutch one that I used in the video. And it actually twisted a little bit, as you can see. It didn't fracture, but it did twist. And I don't know if that's before, but this was the only one I had twist as well. And um, actually, no, I can't say that. The MS660 twisted one of these too inside right here and I'll tell you that thing everyone wants to build an MS660 there's way too much bottom end torque on those and they just it destroys everything it's not something you're gonna ride it's something you're gonna repair and fix quite often <clears throat> so but anyways I'm just saying but just so you can see what one of the shafts failing looks like, this is the most common type of failure. And it almost always is associated with the stock spring or the bigger spring on the builds that they modify, like a Minarelli, the saw builds, you know, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, you got to be careful and watch that. Because if the clutch side does that, or something along those lines, and that comes off, it'll tear that engine apart. Alright, so we'll be fair to you about the safe clutch setup. So, one thing big about this is it's a little bit more skill level. You have to cut a cover. You have to take out the old clutch assembly. Put this in. Install it. 
little odds and ends. So mechanical skill wise is up a little. Um, the other thing that is, is these hang out the side. I mean, they're literally only a half inch on this one. But, I'm just saying, you have the potential to get your leg caught in it. Whatever, I mean, I've never had it happen yet. <laughs> but, you know, apparently some people will. Um, the other thing that they are known for is the fucking bar pin can actually walk out of the little thing here so you always gotta make sure this is tight once in a while um the bucking bar itself tends to wear out faster as well where the ball bearing and the little push link are so, so there's some downsides the other thing is too is now you have an open cover so you have the potential for dirt and stuff to get in there and wear things out like the gears and all that more if it gets you know run through it so those are some downsides to one of these i mean all in all i'm really pleased with this setup versus the big spring i have a lot less major issues with this setup versus the big spring setup so it doesn't slip I don't have the shaft twisting issue with everything going on in there. And it just tends to grip really well because it holds the plate pretty even. So that's where I'm at with that. But I figured I would toss that in there. You know, everything has an up and a downside. So kind of just depends, you know, where your skill levels are at and what you prefer to deal with and not. So, all right. All right, guys, so you see that right there? That's your clutch cable holder. Unscrew that. Inside there, there's a flower nut and a spring. If you were to tighten that up, you will actually uh, increase the force applied to the stock spring, to that plate, to the pad. So, a lot of people don't realize that. They just screw with the flower nut, but that's the force multiplier inside on the spring to the plate, all right?